Half steps and whole steps are the most basic terms we use to describe the distance we move between notes. They're also called semitones and tones. People say that more in the UK, but they mean the same thing. They're such an important thing to understand first because we then use them to describe patterns and shapes on the keyboard, how we move around, build chords and scales, and even just name the notes. If you're new here, this channel is your guide through developing all the different skills and knowledge you need to become a better piano player and musician. So if that's something you wanna do, consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything you need to learn. So what is a whole step and a half step on piano? Well, a half step is really just moving to a note right next door. Now the thing is that this can look confusing on the keyboard because the layout is a bit deceptive and it looks to the eye like it's kind of making this zigzag shape with the notes. And that's only because the black keys just don't come all the way to the end. The keys though are just the buttons for the notes and they're laid out like this to make it more playable. Think of all the notes, black and white, as just being in a straight line. Looking at this part of the keyboard helps with that. Or it may be easier to visualize it on this grid. On the inside of a real piano, you can see all of the notes in a straight line. So if I move up in half steps, starting from this note here, this one's a C, these notes are right next door, and these notes are right next door. So it's gonna go white, black, white, black, white. But here, there's no black note in between these two white notes. So this is also a half step. We get two whites in a row, and then it carries on black, white, black, white, black, white, and then we have another point here with no black note in between the two white notes, so this is also another half step. This is the same note as when we started, so it just loops around from there. So you have to visually get used to some half steps being white to black or black to white, or in these two spots being two white notes in a row. A whole step is then just leaping two half steps in one go, or you can say a tone is two semitones, or just two places along on the grid. Let's look at a few different examples. So if I started on this note, going two half steps, which is the same thing as a whole step, I would get two whites in a row. This is a whole step. That would be the same from this note. There's a whole step. There's some cases where we're gonna get two black notes in a row. So if I started here and I go two half steps, a whole step, there's gonna be two black notes in a row and that's gonna be the same here and here. Or if we go back to these areas again, we're gonna get a mixture of colors. If I start on this one, we're gonna get black to white. And if I start on this one, we're gonna get white to black. And that's the same here and here. And those are the areas that often catch people out, so make sure to get used to them. So remember, when two whole steps on the keyboard look like different shapes, they're actually exactly the same distance and would look the same on a grid or the inside of a real piano. You may have noticed that all the half steps sound alike and all the whole steps sound alike. To learn more about that, I have a video on intervals you can check out. That's a really important subject. Plus, if you're new to piano, I have a few other videos linked in the description on naming the notes, some basic technique and exercises to get you going, chords. Have a look down in the description below. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if this video is helpful as that really helps our channels to grow. Subscribe for more content to help you keep developing your piano playing. I've got loads more beginner stuff up. Thanks for watching.